two minutes until showtime. Yay. I have a sharpie. One like minute tired. until showtime. Somebody needs to close the door. <laughs> well, no, it's just open because of the air. Oh, okay. A R Y, last name N U N E Z. Is she related to that girl that came? Uh -uh. The other Nunes. No, no, no. No? No. Nunez. Nunez. Yeah. Is it Ari? Uh, Ari. Ari. Okay, Ari I heard Nunez. like. Nunez. And the, pronounce the second end like it's a Y. Pretend like it's a Y. Nunez. 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 Yes. Nunez. Yes. Nunez. Okay. Okay. Don't forget. Nunez. There you go. Your show will go live in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Blog Talk Radio. And I'm hungry. Is you looking for good eating and stay beating a path to the network with the best food rapper? Hook you up fast. They keep it crispy with the 411. They feeding you right, chopping it up, dishing it out. It's tasting good, but don't bite. The recipes are sublime and info fresh off the vine. They keep you GMO free, cause be you all what you eat. Now, if you too busy chewing on the FAT fat wag, tune into the F to the O to the O to D food rap. Listen to the kitchen on the show with the utmost. Me and me and Shauna G, your fly MC chef host. Food rap, food rap, food rap. Food rap. It's time to eat better. I know you feel the pressure. Can I get a yes, yes, sir? A yes, yes, sir. A for the hot show on the block. From the street to the hood. Keep it locked. Fun food rappers talk. Never taste it so good. Oh, yeah, delicious. Pizzas, hamburgers, and french fries. Oh, yeah. All the fast food I can eat. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no. I'm hungry. Hey, my stomach growling. Russell's food rap. Food rap. Go pro radio network. Need a Marcel on the level. That's it. Hey, hey, what's, what's up, up everybody? everybody? Today is August 31st, 2013. I'm Nina Markell. And I'm Shauna Glover, and, and we're, we're the, the hosts of Food Rap, where talk never tastes so good. good. Oh, snap, we actually got it together this You know time. what I'm saying? <laughs> that never happens. I'm so excited. <laughs> I know. About today. The item on the menu is exercise slash eggs are sides. Do you like how it did Hilarious. That? Hilarious, right? Hilarious. <laughs> we have a wonderful special guest, Ari Nunez, the sexy supersonic trainer, health psychologist, and lifestyle coach to celebrities such as Alicia Keys and Rihanna. Mm -hmm. Ari is the founder of Gotham Global Fitness, runs a successful training business in New York City, is, and is an internationally featured Nike-sponsored athlete. She will be joining us in the second half of the show. That's going to be so exciting. I am so excited to have her on the show because I, Lord knows I need some help. <laughs> Lord knows Lord, you do. No, I do. Yes, I do. So do, so do our <laughs> listeners. You know, they could, they could take a couple of tips from this girl. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, and she is great. Great energy, beautiful. She, she She's just amazing. shines. She's yes, amazing. She's her. a light. Mm -hmm. So tell me why you want us to do food uh, food wrap uh, Shauna well j for this reason you know we get to bring great guests on like Ari to speak to people out there who want to know how to do maybe need some quick fitness tips they got a hectic life you know or just you know want to know how to be the best you know selves that they can be mm -hmm. and that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to be the best version of myself that I can be and I, I you know I'm using the show to do that so what about you and I feel you on that because I, I'm always trying to be the best person that I can be and I mm -hmm. think there's always room for improvement I mean, initially, of course, you all know that I was very apprehensive about doing the show, but I'm so glad that, you know, you guys encouraged me and 
that I feel confident now and I'm so excited about sharing all this information that, that we're finding out. We're researching different things. We keep finding out new things. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's exciting. Very exciting. You yes. Know? Yes. And, um, you know, I just want to remind our listeners, you know, if they want to talk to Ari in the second half of the show. Or she, us. Or us. Because we're, we're fabulous. You know, you know, you know and we're bringing you a lot of great information here. Uh, give us a call. 646-929-1521. Also, we're going to be putting all this information up on our social networking sites. And you, we we're on Instagram at Food Wrap. Twitter at Food Wrap. We're on uh, uh, Facebook at Food Wrap. Uh, Pinterest Food Wrap Radio Show. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can see video, the videos of us here at you, um, excuse me, YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is the Food Wrap Show. I don't know what's my, That's I'm right. a little fumbled right now. It's all right. All right so also we have, um, I want to let, let all the listeners know that, you know, Ari's going to be demonstrating some cool and quick exercises for us. So if you want to see that, go to GoProRadio.com and click on the Watch Now watch live button. watch live button that's, that's right. right that's right and um also i want to encourage our listeners to donate right so we can right. keep, keep this great content going that's right they should do that in exchange we're, we're sharing mm -hmm. so much important information mm -hmm. we would appreciate anything that you can give us in exchange for sharing this you know what i'm saying yeah a dollar five dollars twenty dollars whatever you can whatever hit you that can. donate button you hit know? that donate button it's right on the home page at goproradio.com and use the subject food wrap that's right Make we sure want, you acknowledge us. That's right. We want people to know it's our listeners. You know, what you know we want we want Word. the execs here to know that it's our listeners that are bringing in the dough. So, you know, just help us out. <laughs> 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 All right. So, what what uh, coming up? Well, you know what? You know what's pretty exciting? What's what's that? Labor Day is on Monday. Oh yes. The summer Lots is just about over, and autumn is actually my favorite season of the year. I'm sorry, Sean. I know how much you love the summer. I love the sun. I know. But you know what? Fall's my winter. My birthday's in September. I love the fall. I love that transition. I just. Me too. I just. I'm, I'm just going to miss the hot weather. And then it's like that. Swing, swing, swing. And chop, chop, chop. 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 Swing, swing, swing. All right. So our listeners, for those of you who are watching, you know I'm a little of a goofball. I like to dance during <laughs> the music and all that good stuff. So um, we are doing Chop It Up. I love Chop It Up. Chop It Up is where we help to inform our listeners about what's on the labeling of food. There's a lot of words on there that we don't know how to pronounce. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to help you through that process. And so, if you can't pronounce them, that's not normally a good thing. Exactly. Maybe you shouldn't be put in your mouth. But you, you never know. You know that we're we're helping you through that process. So Nina, what are we chopping up today? So today I decided to chop up egg whites versus eggs. Hmm. Because I I don't actually have a problem with people eating egg whites, but to me it just when I think about it, it just doesn't make sense to separate the yolks from the egg whites. So anyway. Okay, so you can eat both. You can eat both. But I personally, I opt for the whole eggs. Mm -hmm. Whole eggs have a long nutritional history of being good for you. Then bad for you during the low, co low cholesterol craze. Mm -hmm. And then good for you again. The main <laughs> reason why eggs are, are placed in the don't eat basket several de decades ago was due to their high cholesterol and, fi and fat content. Now, the whole thing with that was what people don't realize is when it comes to cholesterol, mm -hmm. if you're not getting enough cholesterol, your body will automatically produce more. If you consume too much cholesterol, mm -hmm. your body will automatically, will automatically, actually cholesterol is actually not bad for you. And it, it's, it's just, you got to get the good cholesterol, right? Well, it has, there's a lot to it, but anyway, let me, let me continue. So mm -hmm. anyway, by throwing out the yolk the o and only eating the egg whites, you're essentially throwing out the most nutrient dense, antioxidant, rich vitamin and mineral loaded portion of the egg. The yolks contain so many B vitamins, trace minerals, vitamin A, folate, Choline, lutein, and other powerful nutrients. It's not even worth trying to list all of them. Okay. In fact, the egg whites are almost devoid of nutrition compared to the yolks. That's why I don't understand why so many people are just doing egg whites. As a matter of fact, I actually went to a restaurant a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, I went there for a brunch. And I, I thought it was interesting that they had... Um, a white egg omelet with cheddar cheese. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> Why would you have an omelet of egg whites with cheddar cheese? Right. Does that make any sense no, to you? No, it's like, I was yeah. so annoyed. I'm mm -hmm. like, are you serious? This makes absolutely no sense. It's mm -hmm. a total oxymoron, <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> so anyway, more about eggs. Yolks contain more than 90% of the calcium, iron, phosphorus, zinc, thiamine, B6, folate, and B12. Uh, in addition, the yolks contain all the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K, as well as all of the essential fatty acids. Whole eggs will supposedly skyrocket your cholesterol through the roof, which is not true. This is completely false. First of all, when you eat a food that contains a high amount of dietary cholesterol, such as eggs, your body, as I said before, regulates its internal production of cholesterol to balance things out. So anyway, hmm. what that's, do you think? Well, I interesting, think, right? I think that's very interesting. Yeah, because you know, I think it, I think why people are confused because on the news, one minute eggs are good for you, the next minute they're not. I mean, that's not. how it's it is like with coffee. all the food. That's how it exactly. is with all the food. You know? Well, which is why we're trying to help everyone through that process. So what are you going to be? <laughs> and chopping not going to be confused. Okay, so I'm going to be chopping up one of my favorite things: coconut water versus you know a popular sports drink. That's electric blue or sometimes red or green or I know, whatever. I know which one you mean. Exactly. So, um, you know, I'm going to read the ingredients of the sports drink. Uh, and it says on there, no fruit juice. It's water, sucrose syrup, glucose, mm. fruit gross, <laughs> fructose syrup, citric acid, natural grape flavor with other natural, natural. flavors. And we already know that's suspicious. Salt, sodium citr citrate, and monopotassium phosphate. Red number 40 Again. and blue number one. Now, this is supposed to help hydrate you. You know, if you're very active and, you know, you, <clears throat> you might be losing, like, electric lights and you need to rehydrate, this is supposed to be good for With you. With all but that sugar in it? Exactly. The first ingredient might be water, but the second and third ingredients are both a type of sugar. Then we have dyes in there. And I just wanted to let everyone know. So we talked about those things and these ingredients that you can't, you know, mm -hmm. necessarily pronounce. So the mono potassium phosphate acts as an electrolyte to replenish the ions in your body when you sweat out during exercise. And the sodium citrate may refer to any sodium salts or citric acid and is sometimes used as an acidity re to um, regular in drinks. So those are the, you know, but what, like I said, those aren't bad things necessarily. Those are the things that are actually helping mm -hmm. to rehydrate you and the things that you need, you what? lose during exercise. But the other items in this drink are not good for you. Tell me what your alternative so is. So my alternative is one of my, the things I just recently discovered and I love, 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 I can't say it enough, is coconut water. I was scared to try it at first, but once I did, I was hooked and I, I tried a mango flavor. So they have regular coconut water and they also have a flavored coconut water. And one of my favorite is peach pure, um, the peach mango okay. and um, coconut water is in a it helps with essential electrolytes potassium sodium calcium phosphorus and magnesium so it's like eating four bananas it's great when you exercise and it's def it's a hundred percent natural it's gluten-free GMO free and 100 percent vegan um, depending on the brand so you just got to make sure you do your research okay. and when you get a flavored um, one of the brands that I popular brands that I checked out um, is it just uses peach the uh, ingredients is coconut water peach puree, mango puree, and vitamin C, and that's it. All right. All right. <laughs> so now, next up on the menu is, are the ABCs of food. What, what is and that? The, every week, Nina or myself, we take a letter of the alphabet and we kind of really delve into the ingredients, where the food came from, all that good stuff. So, Nina, what do you have for us this week? We're up to the letter N. All right. What do you have for N? Nuts. Ooh. I love I, nuts. I like nuts and they're very what good for you. <laughs> I do nuts. I eat them as a snack. Uh -huh. They're really, they're, they're like packaged in their no they're in their own natural um you know yeah. you don't have to package them they come in their own natural packaging that's right i love them they're quick you pop them in your mouth you're done they're mm -hmm. delicious anyway so just a munch just munch a handful of nuts a day and you will be doing more than good to keep yourself healthy and stay fit nuts have it all rich in energy protein packed with antioxidants vitamins minerals and much discussed omega-3 fatty acids crunchy yet buttery wonderfully delicious nuts are wonderful gifts to humankind by mother nature and they're also good for vegans. I know. I love them. It's like my go-to snack. Them. <laughs> you can carry them around really easy, too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To name a few, there are almonds, cashews, walnuts, pistachios, macadamias, Brazil nuts, pine nuts, pecans, and hazelnuts. Peanuts are not included in there, and people are confused about peanuts. Peanuts are actually a legume. 
Mm. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I know there was something different about the peanuts. I just wasn't, I didn't know that. They're a legume. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. They're rich in energy and nutrients. Um, they're loaded with excellent source of monounsaturated fatty acids, such as oleic and palmitoleic acids, which help to lower LDL or bad cholesterol mm. and increase HDL or good cholesterol. Research studies suggest a Mediterranean diet that is rich in monounsaturated mono fatty acids to prevent coronary artery disease strokes by favoring healthy blood lipid profile. Nuts nutrition is complete in the sense that in addition to calories and vitamins, they are, rich, they are a rich source of minerals like manganese, potassium, calcium, iron, magnesium, zinc, and selenium. Manganese is a cofactor for the enzyme superoxide dismutase, which is a very powerful free radical scavenger. Potassium is an important component of cell and body fluids that help, controlling, that help control heart rate and blood pressure. Copper is required for the production of red blood cells. Iron is required for red blood cell formation. Nuts are friendly. You can carry them along mm -hmm. with you wherever you go. There is no need to s for special containers or carry boxes. They have a long shelf life unlike fruits and vegetables. Nuts are not easily perishable. And when I'm working during the day mm -hmm. and I'm doing my rounds with mm -hmm. my dogs, I keep nuts with me. I love pistachios and oh, I yeah. love, and I'm into oh. cashews lately. I didn't like cashews mm -hmm. when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And I also love pistachios. Yeah, I love pistachios. I love almonds, walnuts, uh, Brazil nuts. Interestingly enough, I hear a lot of great I'm things about them. I'm not into them. I can't you know, get into the Brazil nuts. Brazil, Brazil nuts, I like them because they're very meaty. And it's almost, I almost feel like I'm having a meal when I eat them. I'm like you only need a couple. You nuts know what really else? fill you up. You know what else I have? You know what? I'm going to post this on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. I have to find it. Mm -hmm. I have this amazing nut loaf recipe Ooh. for vegans. Ooh. Yeah, it's Don't you basically just post it. Bake it and bring it here. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that next week for our specialty dish since it's right. my turn. Yeah. I may do that. I, I don't what is I can't eat the post on Facebook. I'm sorry. It does nothing for me. I'm just I'm just trying to get you to cook a little bit more, Shauna. You know I, what I'm saying? I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so I just want to remind everybody that today's sponsor is GP's restaurant. They're a family owned and operated since nineteen thirty four. They practice humu humane and sustainable sustainable methods and always seek organically grown produce from non GML plants. You can find them at two thirty six. Pavonia Avenue in Jersey City and you can call them for a reservation at 201-418-8800 or go to gpsrestaurant.com. We'll be right back. This is Food Wrap on the GoPro Radio Network where talk never tasted so good. Yum, yum. You want to know the truth, folks? Do you really want to know the truth? Well, perhaps you can't handle the truth. But if you can... You can listen to GoPro Radio. Tune in at www.goproradio.com. Now have I made myself clear. GoPro Radio Network. Listen to the voices in your head. I know I do. You're listening to content developed by the GoPro Radio Network. The fastest growing network in the galaxy. GoPro Radio Network. Listen to the voices in your head. Welcome back. Welcome uh, back. I'm Nina, and this is Sean, and we're the host of Food Wrap on the GoPro Radio Network, where talk never tasted so good. That's right, and we're about to have something tasty. I can't wait. I know. Okay, maybe we're not ready to have something tasty yet. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't know. Are we? Are we ready for something tasty? All right. I want to remind our callers because we're got, we're about to get busy up in here. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're about to do some exercise. That's what I'm, I'm saying. Talk, I'm all about, about that. How to get I love fit. exercise. We got to have bodies like Rihanna, like Alicia, Alicia Keys. Keys. That's right. Rock hard abs. All right. <laughs> now we're ready for something tasty. <laughs> yeah, baby. We're talking about sexy abs and now we're talking about sexy food. That's what I'm saying. All right. <laughs> so tell the listeners what the specialty dish is all about. Well, the specialty dish is we take turns, Shauna and I. Mm -hmm. We prepare a dish or perhaps a drink mm -hmm. or we juice. Mm -hmm. And we have the other person try it out. Yes. So it was your turn this week, Shauna. It was. I see you didn't cook, but I think you juiced. I did. What well, did it's actually, do? it's not a juice. It's actually like a blend. It's, it's a blend? A, I use like a blender. smoothie? It's like a smoothie. Okay. Uh, a fruit smoothie. So, 
I'm going to hold it up for our listeners. It looks very cool and refreshing. It looks very delicious. So I actually did this based on our, um, you know, our our producer here, Thailand Eusebio Washington, okay. is really doing a great job at trying to get, you know, his health together, exercising, biking, I, I agree. juicing. So one of the things he likes to have in the morning is a banana strawberry smoothie. Mm. So this is more strawberry than is banana, but I thought it'd be great, you know, one thing that I think is great when, you know, if we want to get a lot of nutrients into our system, you know, and it's healthy and simple, we just take some a couple of fruits or vegetables. Sometimes you add it with ice, you can juice it, you can blend it. And it's, you know, it's just a very quick way can to I, get can healthy. Can I taste it already, You please? can, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Keeping me waiting forever. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm going to taste it. It smells really good. Okay. Very fruity, very strawberry. I yes. love bananas and I love strawberries, so I know I'm going to love this. So. Okay. And I'm probably going to drink the entire thing. And it's very simple. It's, it's just strawberry, simple. ice, and bananas. That's it. That is awesome. You like, you like? <laughs> Me gusta muchísimo. Oh, yeah. Me gusta yay. muchísimo. It's very good. <laughs> it, it has a little bit of a consistency. It, I can still kind of, mm -hmm. on, on my tongue, I can still sort of feel the fruit. Mm -hmm. I can feel the seeds from the strawberry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good. I'm going to drink the rest of it. Okay, so why you drink the rest of it? Like I said, it's very mm. simple. It's just strawberries, banana, one banana, three strawberries, and some ice. And you can, you know, there's no, I don't really measure. You can do it how you want. If you want more banana flavor, do two mm. bananas, more strawberry flavor, it's up to you. But this is just very simple. And, you know, I, you know, if you want to have this in the morning, and not, I want to replace it with breakfast, but definitely like something to add so you're getting your your fruits in for the day. You know, because you're supposed to have at least, you know, eight to ten fruits and vegetables. I think it's actually a good idea to have breakfast if you're on the go and you don't have yeah. time to actually prepare a meal. So I, I think you can, you, I think you actually can have it for breakfast. Yeah. It, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, it has the nutrients in it that you need. So, mm. you know... I recommend. We did a juice a couple weeks ago here, that and was awesome. I, that gave me I'm so trying much to, energy. All right, <laughs> I'm glad you like it. So I, I want to remind our listener. We also have another sponsor for this show, and they really? are awesome. And we talked about legumes, awesome. and this company is Bean Fields, and they're all about the beans. They they came on our show last week, and they told us why beans are not only good for our body, but it's good for our environment. Mm -hmm. It's good. They're sustainable. Just they're they're better in terms of water. All this all they're this really great non-GMO. All this great they're, information. They're vegan friendly. They're vegan friendly. They're gluten free. They have an awesome product called Bean and Rice Chips that I want to encourage everyone to try and taste they have mm -hmm. awesome flavors unsalted sea salt pico de gallo my favorite nacho and if you want to read more about them or figure out how to get some um, chips in your area just visit their website at beanfields with an s snacks.com <laughs> Food fight. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, food fight is about us. Well, basically what food fight is, is we, we talk about food in politics, uh, food in the news. Mm -hmm. And so I want to know what you're going to be talking about today, Shauna, because today's your turn to talk about food fight. Yes. And since we're having our awesome guests on very soon. I can't wait. Counting down the minutes. We only have... What, eight minutes to go? <laughs> uh, I thought we'd talk about health, you know, fitness for kids. Because I, I like think that. it's a struggle. We have a lot of our kids are sitting on the computers all day. Yes. It's just a different world than when I grew up or you grew up. You know, when mm -hmm. we, you know, recess was actually, there was actually recess. I don't even yeah. think my, I don't know, no, I'm not even sure if my daughter goes to recess these days. All right. So anyway, keep I got this great information from um, kidshealth.org. It's about motivating kids to be active. Anyone who's seen kids on the playground knows that most are naturally physically active and love to move around. But what might not be apparent is the, uh, the climbing to the top of the slide or swinging to the monkey bars can help lead kids to a lifetime of being active. As they get older, it can be a challenge for kids to get enough daily activity. Reasons include increasing demand of school and feeling among some kids that they aren't good at sports, a lack of active role models, and busy working families. And even if kids have the time and the desire to be active, parents may not feel comfortable letting them freely roam the neighborhood as kids once did. So their opportunities might be limited. Despite these barriers, parents
parents can instill a love of activity and help kids fit in their everyday routines, doing, doing so can establish healthy patterns that will last throughout their adulthood. Benefits of being active. When kids are active, their bodies can do the things that they want and they need them to do. Why? Because regular exercise provides these benefits, strong muscles and bones, weight control, dis decreased risk of developing type 2 diabetes, better sleep, a better look outlook on life. Healthy, physical, healthy physically active kids are more likely to be academically motivated, alert, and successful, and physical competence builds self-esteem at every age. What motivates kids to be active? Well, the keys are choosing the right activities for the child's age. If they don't, the child may be bored or frustrated. Giving kids plenty of opportunity to be active. Kids need parents to, to make activity easy by providing equipment and taking them to playgrounds and other active spots. Um, keeping the focus on fun. Kids won't be uh, won't do something they don't enjoy. So we know this. I agree. Okay. Also, um, when kids enjoy an activity, they want to do more of it. Practicing a skill, whether it's swimming or riding a tricycle, improving their abilities and help them feel accomplished, especially when the effort is noticed and praised. Age-appropriate activities. Uh, the best way for kids to get physical um, physical activity is by incorporating physical activity into their daily routine. Toddlers and preschoolers can pay, uh, play actively several times a day. Children 6 to 17 should do 60 minutes or more physical activity daily. They can include free play at home, active time at school, and participation in classes and organize sports. So what do you think about well, this? Well, I think that it's important that kids are active because we mm -hmm. live in a different time. And mm -hmm. as you were saying, like kids are sitting in front of their computers. Mm -hmm. The other thing, too, is being a role model for your kid and being active Absolutely. with them. Because if your kid, if you're going to take your kids to do physical activities and mm -hmm. you're just chilling and sitting down all day, mm -hmm. your kids are not going to really take to being physically active. So I think being a role model is really important. It's very, it's, that's one of the main points in this article. I don't want to read the whole thing. It's very mm -hmm. long. I'm going to post it on our, our, on our Facebook page. But that's one of the key components Absolutely. at the end of this article. Is but to I didn't be know there were model. monkey bars anymore. I thought that was back in my day. No, they have monkey bars. They do? They, they have, they have oh. like rock climbing walls. It's, They're probably not made tech. of metal anymore. They're probably made of like plastic now. Am I right? No, still metal. <laughs> really? It's been a while since you've been to a playground. It's okay. It's been a while. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm lost. No. <laughs> Strange but food. <laughs> And I want, to, I want to remind everybody if you want to join if you want to join the conversation, you can call us at 646-929-1521. That's 646-929-1521 if you want to speak to myself or Shauna. Yes, and speak to our lovely guest who will be here in about five minutes, Ari Nunez. I can't wait. I know. I'm so looking forward to this. Anyway, Strange But Food is all about us finding the weirdest, most unusual foods out there and sharing it with you, the listener. Sometimes they may gross you out. Sometimes not. Sometimes it grosses <laughs> so, us out. So exactly. <laughs> what do you have for us this week? I decided to talk about haggis. Have haggis. you heard of that? I've never heard of that. What is that? I've heard of it. Okay. Haggis is a traditional Scottish dish. It's made of minced heart, liver, and the lung of a sheep mixed with onion, spices, oatmeal, salt, and stock, and boiled in the sheep's stomach for a few hours. Doesn't that sound I tasty? I just, I can't. <laughs> LaRue's La Gastronique, Gastronomique, a popular encyclopedia of gastronomic delights, claims that haggis has an excellent nutty texture and delicious savory flavor. Haggis is available mm. year-round in Scottish supermarkets and made with an artificial casing <laughs> rather than a sheep's stomach. In fact, some are sold in cans to be heated in a microwave before eating. In cans? That's weird. That's weird, That yeah. is way it's, weird. The food itself is weird. Then you put it in the can. No me gusta, no me gusta. Not in cans. <laughs> Similar dishes can be found in other European countries with goat, pork, or beef used instead of sheep. No. Haggis. Not in a can. I agree, Ayana. Not out of a can. I'm sorry. It's you know not what happening. I'm saying? It's not happening. So what are you going to be <laughs> talking about, young lady? Okay, so actually, it's not a strange tasting fruit necessarily or weird in that way but weird. it's definitely weird looking it looks, it looks weird. like something uh, in in an ocean you know actually and um this is called wow. buddha's hand 
It's a delicious, fragrant symbol of happiness, longevity, and good fortune. The oh. traditional temple offering and New Year's gift is actually a form of the citron, an extremely fragrant and commonly mishappened fruit indigenous to the lower Himalayas. Closely related to the lemon, the Buddha's hands segments branch off into the bottom into gnarled finger-like um, protrusions known as foshu in china and bushikan in japan the impressive buddhist hand was a mysterious his, has a mysterious history scholars cannot agree whether buddhist monks carried it from india to china both the fourth and the both the century um fourth century a.d or if it was developed naturally in the yangtze valley from another citron variety either way american america can now enjoy this tangy spectacle as a seasonal ornamental uh, ornamental <laughs> fruit or in any recipe that calls for lemon zest such as biscotti fruit com uh, composites casseroles or souffles this fruit needs a warm needs warm or at least temperature climate to grow and is usually harvested in the late winter and into spring if you see these thick yellow spiders at market near you choose specimens with firm bright peels and a delectable floral scent I think actually I would try that because it looks strange, but it doesn't sound like it tastes strange. Yeah, I would totally try this. I just thought I've I was, never seen them though. I've, I've never seen it. I never heard it, heard of them. And maybe in Chinatown. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look probably, to see if I can find them in Chinatown. Maybe. And I was I would totally try that. <clears throat> I was reading that. Oh, uh, just another. You know, if you do go to look for them, they mm -hmm. said avoid soft spots and limp fingers, which I thought was funny. But uh, limp fingers. <laughs> But they say that, you know, a lot of times when people are going to the people who are Buddhist, they go to the Buddhist temple and they, they bring this as an offering. Oh. And they and they say the Buddha likes if we're bringing religion into this, they like the closed fingers because it's more like a praying hands and things oh. like that. So that's an that's interesting. interesting history on the fruit. And um, I would definitely try this in my food. So so would I. Yeah. So, guys, you get, get ready. We're about to have a very exciting. upbeat, exciting interview Energetic. with Adi Nunes. And, um, you know, I want to give everybody that phone number so you can call in and talk to her and go to the website so you can see her. The number is 646-929-1521. If you want to see us in the studio, because she's going to be demonstrating some exercises, go to GoProRadio.com and watch, click on the Watch Live button. We'll be back after this break. I'm Shauna Glover from Food Wrap Radio on the GoPro Radio Network. And I'm Nina Markow. Yes. Let's not forget about me. How could I? <laughs> Hi, I'm Nina Markow. I'll be bringing up your purchase today. My associate, Shauna Glover, will bag your items. Hey there. Hey, nice to meet both of you. Let's see. Pork rind, mm -hmm. grape soda, genetically modified strawberries. Yeah. No me gusta. Oh. Okay, I don't want to offend you or anything, but none of this stuff is good for you. Eh, it can't be that bad. You're practically digging your grave with your teeth. <gasps> Yikes. But don't worry, there are healthier choices that are just as delicious. You can try some dried kale instead of potato chips. Hmm. Or even actual grape juice in the place of the purple liquid cavities. Right. Also organic fruit instead of the GMOs. Hmm. You guys have some good ideas, but how do you know so much about good eating? Sean and I host the brand new talk show, Food Wrap, every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the GoPro Radio Network. Yeah, it's the brand new radio show that's all about good eating. Nina and I will take you on a delicious journey through the latest trends and traditions in alternative eating from the everyday person's perspective. Wait a minute, I heard about that show, Food Wrap, on the GoPro Radio Network, right? Yep, it's the perfect weekly digest for anyone looking to beef up on food facts and share their own discoveries. All right, that's it. I'm putting all this junk back and I'm making better choices. And and the first choice I'm making is to tune into Food Wrap every week from now on. That's every Saturday at 3 p.m. on the GoPro Radio Network at www.goproradio.com. Where talk never tasted so good. You're listening to content developed by the GoPro Radio Network, the fastest growing network in the galaxy. GoPro Radio Network. Listen to the voices in your head. Welcome back. Welcome back. This okay. is Nina and this is Shauna and we're here on Food Wrap on the GoPro Radio Network. That's right. And um, we have our guests in studio, but we're going to play a little video clip so you guys can hear what she's all about and then we're going to go from there. But let's start off today's show with a workout. Fitness guru Adi Nunez takes exercise to another level. She's all about living life. Adi sees fitness not only as a sport, but as a way to reach and help people. 
Argentinian and Dominican fitness expert Ari Nunez is making a huge name for herself in the fitness world and beyond. A spokeswoman for Nike, this Latina stays as busy as she does fit. I'm a fitness correspondent on the talk show Cold Pizza. I am bilingual. I also write for Shape in Español, so you gotta check it out every single month. I work at Equinox in New York City, and I'm exclusive to this place because if you look at any gym, you'll see this is top. I have my own company. It's called Gotham Global Fitness. Fitness has been a way of life for Adi, who's known for incorporating both martial arts and dance techniques to create her own unique style of exercise. I've had a knack for fitness since uh, I was a child. I'm a martial artist of 29 years, black belt in karate, taekwondo, and kung fu, and I'm a dancer of 29 years. I incorporate Eastern and Western philosophies of training the body because that's what I am. And so in my fitness, you'll see martial arts, you'll see dance, you'll, you'll be like, what are we doing? Are we like ninjas? Or are we like salsa dancing? She was determined to team with Nike, and eventually it was the company that came knocking on her door. One day, I don't know, I get a call from Nike. They're um, working on a photo shoot and they need a consultant. I went there, I did a phenomenal job. We developed this relationship. I meet Laurie Roth, who rocks. She invited me to this dinner, a Nike athlete dinner, and she said, Would you like to be an athlete? It was such an honor. I think that your culture, where you come from, and your experience are your assets. And I think that if you don't do something with that, you're wasting your time. And yes, it's my responsibility to be a role model. It's about saying, yes, I'm a Latin woman, and there's so many things against me, but guess what? I can do anything I want to do if I put my mind to it. So if there's a little girl out there, and she's watching this right now, and she thinks like, oh my God, when I grow up, I want to do this. Guess what? You can. All right. We <laughs> That was awesome. We are joined by Ari Nunez of Ari's America. Ari is an international, renowned bilingual fitness personality, celebrity trainer to Rihanna and Alicia Keys, Latin community and female-centric influencer, Nike-sponsored athlete, National Football League, NFL ninja ambassador, Nintendo's, <laughs> Nintendo spokesperson and first-generation entrepreneur. She also established Gotham Global Fitness LLC and a, a company co-founded on the pr principles of Eastern and Western philosophies. I'm Welcome. Already. Thank I you. Oh my God, I'm I can't sorry. say enough. I'm already <laughs> Thank you. You guys are right. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh. We're Thank so excited to have you. Thank you. you. Yes. Yeah, so, Nina, why don't you start off? I said enough. <laughs> okay, so, okay. So, I wanted to ask you about um, the body feed balance. Yes. You know, I want to ask you what that's about because, you know, there are certain people that I know who have certain addictions and they need help with that. And I'm not naming any all names, right, you know. All right. Well, all of us, we all have, we're human and we have addictions and we have things that we love. And sometimes they become empowering things or sometimes they're things that it really don't serve us. Mm -hmm. So body feed balance. It's your body. You live in this. You wake up in this instrument every single day. Mm -hmm. And what it's telling us to do is listen to what it needs. Feeding it. You're feeding your body so that you're so that you function, so mm -hmm. that your muscles work, so that your bones work, so that your organs are functioning properly, so that you have energy, so that you can be the rock star that you are every single day. Mm -hmm. So that's feeding your body. Balance. That's the hardest thing to do. I mean, I'm a neurotic New Yorker, you know, from Brooklyn, <laughs> overachiever, and if I don't have it yesterday, I lose my patience. <laughs> balance. So you have to you have to balance things in your life. For me, Balance requires a lot. My kung fu, uh, mm -hmm. Sifu, uh, mm -hmm. Sifu Paul Ko, who give it up to him. Mm -hmm. Every time I practice with him, you know, when I have time now these days, it's private. Sifu forces me, and I'm talking about forcing, to do Tai Chi because that's mm -hmm. what I need. I'm already this, you know, fast-paced person. So mm -hmm. that's what balance is about. So you have to look at yourself and say, like, you know, just like a plate of food mm -hmm. and say, you know, what is it? What's what's missing here? What am I not working on? We can never be perfect. Of course but you not. Know, no, but perfection is the balance of it and, and, and being aware when you're off. Mm -hmm. Being aware you're off. So body, you got to move, you know, and I always say, you know, I mean, you know, with respect to anyone's belief system, you know, I'm a child of God. And, you know, if you're if you want to um, achieve greatness, you better, you better start behaving like you're, you're royalty. And so mm -hmm. that's part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, you live in this. This isn't free. <laughs> you know, this, you know, we have mm -hmm. to do something. We yeah. know we don't feel good. Mm -hmm. And you, if you know you don't feel good, then your mind doesn't feel good. And then something's going wrong in your life. So that's body feed balance. And, and that's what I try to do and offer people. And myself as an example, because we live to, you know, 
make mistakes mm-hmm. and learn from them. Of course. So yeah, that's a great point that you say. You live you. In, we were just talking about as parents living as examples for their children. I want to talk about the I say, I do, I am. Can you speak a little bit about oh that? Oh my gosh, I, don't <laughs> yeah, I say, I do, I am. And I tattooed this on my skin. I say, I do, I am. That's awesome. Can you Thank hold you. it up for the camera? Yeah. Can you right see here. it right here? <laughs> hey, hey. All right. So I say, I say, I do, I am with my mm-hmm. little old school scrunchie here. Uh, I say, I do, I am. What does that mean? Once I figured it out, I'm like, mm-hmm. you know, once, one, I remember one day someone asked me, like, all right, you know, like, how did you, you know, and actually one of our girls out here, mm-hmm. uh, one of our PAs here mm-hmm. asked me, like, how did you get into fitness? Like, how, what happened? Yeah. And, you know, I just realized one day that, oh, it's not so hard. It's like, I said I was going to do it. And then I took the steps to make it happen. And this is who I am. That's who I am. She asked me, how did you get into fitness? I'm like, it's just an organic process. And how did I mm-hmm. get into this business? My dad growing up said to me, you can do whatever you want to do in life. The only pe- person that's going to prevent you or the only thing is yourself. Mm-hmm. And so that being said, growing up in Brooklyn, when it wasn't cute back in the day in Williamsburg, it wasn't <laughs> cute. It was the Hasidic Jews, the Latinos. Yep, Jay-Z was there. And <laughs> the Marcy Projects, you know, and we were here in the white. We thought there were cool buildings, but, you know. So what am I saying? I believe that if you, we're human beings, we're here to create, we're creators, you know. Mm-hmm. And so if if you say to yourself, I'm going to do this. I want to. If you have even the desire, that's saying it. That's saying mm-hmm. it. And then you have to say it out loud. Once you, then you're responsible for that. Mm-hmm. You put it out there already. <laughs> and then you have to take the steps to do it. And listen, we're not we're not all the – every job I got when I put myself through university, mm-hmm. I got myself in that job – Fibbing, not lying. Mm-hmm. You know, my, mm-hmm. the faking it until I make. I mean, I, a, listen, a I noble the, lie. Yeah, yeah, no, noble lie. <laughs> exactly. Listen, I still, I still don't know how to type. I type like this with my middle finger. You know, my boyfriend that's makes hilarious. fun of me, and I type like this. And you know what it is? I went into Cunard. I remember they're like, we need someone that types like ninety words an hour. And I'm like, oh yeah, I went in there and I talked my way out of doing the test. So <laughs> that is awesome. So that, so the, yeah, you have to take. Yeah. Oh, woo. <laughs> So yeah, it's doing it, doing doing what you say. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm getting that job because I need insurance. You know, mm-hmm. I need insurance to put me through university. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I want to travel for free. And I did, <laughs> and I work for this company. So that's what I did. And then today, you know, I I just am, and by I am is I am living truly what I want to to live. And then mm-hmm. we go back to talking about you know body feed balance when something's off. I just know I'm not honoring this, right. and then I have to look at it and say like. Oh no, this is getting out. This is not mm-hmm. going to work for for me. Mm-hmm. And you know, if you're not serving yourself, you cannot serve the world. This you is know? true. Yeah. So, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'm like, boo. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you speak to us about what Ari's America is all about? Thank you. Great question. Love to talk about that. And I Ari's know. America, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Gotham Global Fitness, you know, when I when I founded Gotham Global and I didn't know what I was doing. I'm like, uh, USPTO, um, you know, trademark. I just figured it out. You know, I just, you know, they're doing mm-hmm. stuff. And I knew I wanted it. Gotham was about, I'm a, I'm a New Yorker, so Gotham, the city of, mm-hmm. and superheroes, because you got to be a superhero. If you're going to make it here, you're a superhero. Mm-hmm. So the little Definitely. short little Latino girl from Brooklyn, she's a superhero. Mm-hmm. So global, I'm like, I'm going to go all over the world. And fitness, that's what I know. I live in my body. So Gotham Global Fitness, the day it turned into Ari's America was when I said, Hey, wait a minute. Growing up in school, that wasn't the, I, that's not my American dream, but I'm happy. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I don't have, you know, well, I have two dogs, but I don't I didn't grow up with two dogs and, you know, the white picket fence and my parents are, that's just not the way it happened. Mm-hmm. So it's called Ari's America. Why? Because if I can have my version of America, and believe me, I love this country. Mm-hmm. And I, can't talk about bad, that bad about this country because you can do anything here if you put your mind to it. And mm-hmm. that's what Ari's America is about. It could be, it's your America, it's your mm-hmm. America. This is my America because this is my dream. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not married. I just turned 43 years old. Wow, you, know, I you have look this, amazing. It's, you know, it doesn't crack and we know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it's also, again, body feed balance. If you do that, it's okay. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm proud of it, you mm-hmm. know. And we got to talk about our age. That's another ism that we don't talk about. Yes. This is what it looks like mm-hmm. at 43 and I'm proud of it. If and if you don't want to hire me, yeah, mm-hmm. and if you don't want to hire me, that's that's your problem. I don't have a problem with the age thing. <laughs> Thank either. you. I'm 45. Like, what? Like, oh, oh look okay. At, look well, at, okay. I'm, I'm 37. Gonna be 30. You're your baby. You're a baby. You're a baby. You know, these are great years for us. These are great yeah. years. You know. So, um, mm-hmm. Ari's America, and um, it's a mission to build better people. And and yeah. I I can only say that if I can do it, 
And it wasn't cute growing up. It's really cute right now. Mm -hmm. If I can do it, you can do it. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not any different. We're human. Mm -hmm. And you're going to make mistakes, you mm -hmm. know. Just get some new ones. <laughs> <laughs> So, real quick before we go to break, yes, I know your background is in dance, it's in martial arts. Can you talk a little bit about that? And you know, maybe maybe that's a starting point for a lot of people who want to get active. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. For me, you know, um, my dad introduced karate and dance and ballet when I was five. Mm -hmm. At the same time, <laughs> I didn't know. I was just like spending time with Bobby, 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 Bobby. So this is what we did. Mm -hmm. Karate was my first one, and. I just started just realizing I expressed myself through this movement. Mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking I'm working out. I wasn't thinking at that age. You're not thinking, like, what do I look? Mm -hmm. Until you go to dance school and ballet school, and they're like, hey, wait a minute. Your body, that booty, you're going to have to lose some of that. because you know." <laughs> so that's when I started looking at myself in a different right. way. So, But martial arts was always this powerful platform. My dad mm -hmm. got me into karate, right, because we grew up in this um, not-so-cute neighborhood, mm -hmm. and he wanted me to learn self-defense. Mm -hmm. Self-defense turned to self-esteem, turned mm -hmm. to self-confidence, turned to, like, I look good at 43. Mm -hmm. So karate was the first one. Now I know nine martial arts. I'm black belted in three. Wow. Karate, taekwondo, and kung fu. So you know how some people travel mm -hmm. to a country and they try the food? Mm -hmm. I went to Israel straight to Krav Maga. You know, wow. oh yeah, I ate the food too, but I wow. went to Krav Maga, you know. <laughs> so that's what you do. In Brazil, mm -hmm. capoeira, you know, wow. and jiu-jitsu, you know. Mm -hmm. So this is what you do. And then, mm -hmm. so that's how I got into it. And um, yeah, that's, I love my Phenomenal. martial arts. Yeah. What and kind then, of dance do you do? Well, I, I started, we all start mm -hmm. with like ballet and yeah. the basics. And then again, mm -hmm. I realized that's a good story. I'll date myself. Blue Men Group. You know Blue yeah, Men Group. Yes. When Blue yeah, Men yeah. Group <laughs> was walking in, mm -hmm. I was walking out. I was about 23 years old and mm -hmm. I stopped dancing. I was a professional dancer. Mm -hmm. And I stopped dancing because I had uh, my gallbladder removed. And that wasn't, that's hereditary, by the way. If you want to talk about health issues, mm -hmm. um, that's hereditary because I wasn't mm -hmm. eating any fat. I wanted mm -hmm. to be skinny, skinny, mini, you know, because <laughs> that's what we, we were supposed to be. Uh -huh. So, um, I had my gallbladder removed, and the doctor said, you shall not be on those stomach muscles. They did it old school. You shall not, because, you know, ghetto in Brooklyn, old school. Mm -hmm. And then they said, no, you shall not be up in your stomach. And I, I didn't listen. You know, I was like, pow, pow. I didn't listen. Mm -hmm. I, what did I do? I continued to do that. And then my stomach, it was like, you know what? Now you're 23. It's not going to happen. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not this 15-year-old girl. And listen, if I cannot be... And we should all feel that way, I think. The best at what you do and feel like I'm great. Not that you're better than anyone else. If you don't, mm -hmm. you can't feel like I'm amazing at this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's such a satisfying feeling that, um, look at me, I can just go off. You can just have to wheel me back yeah. in. <laughs> no, wheel we, me back in. Yeah, you got, you got 30 seconds. Go all right. <laughs> no, so that's, that's, yeah. pretty, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, so martial arts, dance. And then once you're in that world, I was so disappointed with like, step aerobics, like, hello. I was so uh, disappointed. Mm -hmm. I was disappointed in not seeing culture. I mean, oh where's, gosh. where's, where's, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I agree. I, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, where, uh, there is no African dance at Equinox. Right. Maybe now. Exactly. No, no, not even yet. And they call, all the Latin dance is yeah. now called Zumba. Zumba. Stop exactly. It. All right. So we got, we have to go to a break. We're having a great conversation. Yeah. We'll be back. Um, Nina Markel, Shauna Glover on the GoPro Radio Network. Our talk never tasted so good, and we'll be right back. Oh, my God. The GoPro Radio Network is proud to present our newest show, Food Wrap, hosted by food enthusiast Nina Markal and Shauna Glover. Together, they will chew the cud, so to speak, and take you on a mouth-watering journey to whet your appetite. They'll spill the beans on the latest food trends, beef up on food facts, and share their own discoveries. They'll also have special guest experts and feature piping hot segments like Strange But Food and Chop It Up. So tune Tune in on Saturday, June 1st at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the premiere of Food Wrap and get your food fix in. Why? Because, well, talk never tasted so good. That's Food Wrap only on the GoPro Radio Network at www.goproradio.com. You're listening to content developed by the GoPro Radio Network. The fastest growing network in the galaxy. GoPro Radio Network. Listen to the voices in your head. Welcome back. You're joining Food Rep on the GoPro Radio Network. We have our lovely guest and a good friend of mine, Ari Nunez. Yes. She's in the studio. <laughs> if you want to call and speak to Ari and ask her any questions, you can call us at 646-929-1521. 
Mm -hmm. um, I did want to ask you, young lady. Yes. <laughs> um, before we before we get into all the television things that you're doing, mm -hmm. is there any way you can give us a demonstration of something that you can do, like maybe perhaps if you're seated at your desk? If you're seated at your desk, let me tell you the or biggest. Just sitting anywhere. At anywhere. Home. Anywhere at home. You know the the, the This is what I'm going to tell you. Basic, really, and really quick. Gravity is pulling us forward. And as cute as we are, and we look good for our age, especially you, Missy. Thank you. You know, you're welcome. <laughs> so as good, gravity's still pulling you forward. Guys, we have a little bit of testosterone like women do. Guys yeah, have a do. lot. Thank God. We don't want a lot because then we grow those, you know, <laughs> still get those wax. But so what am I saying? That gravity's pulling you forward. So you want to do everything in reverse. I say train the body three posterior to one forward. So some exercises we can do right here. Here's mm -hmm. a posterior exercise. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to use the chair right now, either a wide grip. This is a nice wide stance. Mm -hmm. Just shift your weight forward like this or hands at your side here right mm -hmm. this is tricep dips that's it tricep dips mm -hmm. yeah you can do that yes you can okay. i need that actually yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. yeah. i have that's a very big arm right here. <laughs> and so you really want to this is another thing you want to get a bang for your buck who mm -hmm. has so much time we don't yeah. bang for your buck we don't have money here's another one you want to add another exercise right here mm -hmm. so you're still doing your triceps right mm -hmm. lift that leg as soon as you lift that leg Oh, that's You're, great. Yeah. That's for the abs. That's great. Yeah. That's great for the abs. Boom, 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 boom. You got it. Yeah. Yes. Then you want to get real crazy? Let's yes. just get let's real, get, let's let's get get real crazy. Let's get real crazy. Let's All right. So I'm we're going to, yeah, we're going to do this. Okay. We're going to go down <laughs> first. Yeah. And then we're going to open. Oh, no. Oh. oh, oh that hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That hurts, Sean. I, heard I know crack. it does. I heard something crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god if it cracks and it doesn't hurt that means whatever you didn't want just cracked itself up but, um, so so that right now so you know as soon as we open and close it's mm -hmm. called the a b a deduction mm -hmm. inner outer thighs i know bueno. we are oh yeah bueno, yes. bueno, mucho, sí. bueno. Mucho, bueno. <laughs> mucho bueno thank you so that's it real easy right you did it you got yeah. some back up i there. can definitely do that that's, yes and i actually already feel like my <laughs> arms feel good just from that oh my god one or two dips. <laughs> So tell yep. us now. We know you worked with Rihanna during, you know, when she was getting ready for the, her her premiere in Battleship and yeah. Alicia Keys. Can yeah. you tell us how it is working with these two ladies? Well, mm -hmm. I, I met Rhi back in '05. Mm -hmm. I was um, at Nike headquarters. I didn't even know the power of what I was doing. Nike mm -hmm. invited me to speak to the brand, mm -hmm. um, the global brand in Portland. Um, and tell them what women need. And so because this is what I do. So I didn't know. Mm -hmm. the, now the word is called influencer. I didn't know back in 2005. <laughs> that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm here like it was like literally Groundhog's Day. Three, Groundhog's Day. Three times. Um, no, six times a day. Three days for a weekend. And basically these groups would come in like sales and marketing or a brand or like the shoelace department. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, da -da 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 -da. this is what women need. <laughs> this is what women need. Mm -hmm. I would perform and it was this interactive thing because I mm -hmm. use all the senses. And so they chose, they coupled me with this music. And at the time, it was just like re. And, mm -hmm. and it was just like that, t -t 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 -t, like, you know, that Caribbean yeah. music. I'm like, I'm a ninja. That's Caribbean. It doesn't yeah. make sense. So fast forward. That was my first thing. Um, mm -hmm. Then the attorney I had at the time is like, hey, you know, we were renegotiating my contract with Nike. And mm -hmm. he looks at it and he's like, oh, I've done something like this before. Because that was the first, like, fitness animal kind of client for him. Mm -hmm. He looks at it. He's like, I did it for, I worked in it for, you know, this artist. So I'm like, re. Came back. Fast forward again, what happens? I am, by this time in my life, I'm in the music industry training, like the, the doctors, lawyers, and the, the guys behind the scenes mm -hmm. that you don't see that really make the artists like the super, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm training all, and I'm training her camp, and then uh, the, her manager at the time is like, why aren't you training our girl? I'm like, I don't know, bring her in. And so she came in, and we were just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we just got along. She's one mm -hmm. of the most amazing. I told her, um, and, she, and she loves this, uh, mm -hmm. I told her, you know, when God made you, he took the day off. Because that girl is beautiful. She's so strong and she's so determined. And she's, mm -hmm. I've never seen anyone that works that hard mm -hmm. and still looks good. Like, I'm right now wearing her lipstick. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, yeah, Ooh, that's it's popping. Like, it's popping. Yeah. <laughs> Riri, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> but I'm so, uh, so, so, so I've, I've been on, you know, I've, I've traveled the world with her. Mm -hmm. I've traveled the world, the entire that's world awesome. with her. And she's incredible. And I look up to her. And she could be my daughter, but I look up to her. Mm -hmm. um, and she has a great team of people around her and like real loving grounded mm. people that you know that's great listen we're, yeah. we're human so yeah. I don't care what anybody says we all make mistakes and we learn mm -hmm. but one thing I can say about her is that she works really hard Alicia Keys mm -hmm. we really recently started working together and mm -hmm. what I can say about her is just like looking at her um, it's just kind of like being really close to God I say that and mm -hmm. her son oh my god I want to eat him sometimes <laughs> She's just kind, and she's mm -hmm. a New Yorker, and she's a performer, and mm -hmm. everything that she does, you know, she writes her music, she sings her music, she expresses mm -hmm. her music, everything, she is a musical note. 
and wow. Wow. she's gorgeous. And these, bo but both of them, like you know, you look at these people. They work hard. I mean, when it's mm -hmm. time to work, it's yeah. time to work. Oh, you have fun, but mm -hmm. you work. Like yes. us. Yes. Same thing. Same Absolutely. thing. Mm -hmm. Same Absolutely. Same thing. Thank you. And she's a little, like, I would say a different body types because mm -hmm. Rihanna seems like she has, like, a natural, like, mm -hmm. uh, kind of, like, yeah. slim build. And Alicia yeah. Keys is a little, you know, like, yeah. hippier and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Now, what are the different, like, approaches? Do you have a different approach for well, each one of them? Well, you know what? This is mm -hmm. it. That's a great question because mm -hmm. there's three body types, general ones, because, you know, we all, we could, we don't, we're not, perfect we don't fit into this one thing but there are three mm -hmm. general ones that we can kind of point to mm -hmm. one is called an ectomorph and i'll explain that mm -hmm. one is called an endomorph mm -hmm. and one's called a mesomorph my body type i'm a mesomorph you're more of a mesomorph you are a combination of ecto and meso mm -hmm. and i'll explain what that is an ectomorph is someone like angelina jolie Tall and skinny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. An endomorph is um is it's a great body type, but it's it's the hardest one to work with because it's more like you don't make muscle. You know, so so let's go back to ectomorph. An ectomorph um has a hard time making muscle, but okay. they're they're naturally skinny, so they always look good. You know, okay. they're just like that mannequin. An endomorph is that person that has you know thick, it just kind of thick everywhere, That's more me. of a boxy. No, 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 no. I got you. I got you. You're more like you're more an ecto a mesomorph, okay. like me. A mesomorph, <laughs> you can make muscle and lose muscle easily. It's up to you. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Make and lose. That's up okay. to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. You're you 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 usually have it. You're tall, mm -hmm. so you have a combination of the meso mm -hmm. and the ecto because mm -hmm. you're tall. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely meso down here. <laughs> so it's kind of like how do I say? But I can say if you look at the Darwin scale. Mm -hmm. It's just like that. A mezzo is like I always say, I'm the monkey in the middle. Okay. Mm. That's me. Okay. okay. You know what? And, you know, but you're tall and you have. So, mm. what do you do with body types? An endomorph. And it's the most challenging. I had this one student one time. It's just you're, you're boxier. You have less definition. It's mm -hmm. harder to make. Okay. Think. And it's a really hard to for that for that body type. Let's go to the hardest one. I would say you have to do a lot of cardiovascular work and you have to do a lot of yoga. I mean, all of this applies mm -hmm. to everyone, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say just like variety in food and variety in vegetables and colors. I would say same thing with exercise. And, you, you know, definitely have like your go-to, mm -hmm. your GoPro. For me, it's uh, martial arts and Got dance. It. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah. You okay. can do everything. I wanted to ask yeah, yeah, you yeah, please. what you're doing. I want you to talk about what you're doing oh. in television because we actually have to wrap it up. Oh, you yeah. do? Okay. Yeah. So real quick, right now, uh, yeah, Turner mm -hmm. Broadcasting, two really cool things. Turner Broadcasting, and they're putting a lot of money behind it, has launched Upwave, U-P-W-A-V-E. -E. So go to it on YouTube mm -hmm. and definitely sign up on their, you know, on their website. So Upwave, it is a platform for everything health and wellness. We're talking about body and, you know, balance and feeding yourself and doing the right thing. If you have a question, there's an answer on that platform. So I am part of three amazing trainers, and wow. I'm the ninja. And it's amazing. That's it's a great. great. Yeah, we just shot mm -hmm. it. So um, we shot. It, I mean, they just launched um, mm -hmm. based out of Atlanta, Georgia. So that's amazing. This is really important. Health First. It's an organization that provides um, I, either free or really low cost insurance for people in our community. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm representing the you know the mission. And uh, so, yeah, that's another big deal. There's a lot of stuff, but those are the two big ones. So thank you. How can people find you quickly? Because we have to go. You yeah. can find me at arinunez. Well, I'm like, my, my yeah, <laughs> arinunez.com. That's where you can find me. Or you can Facebook. You can tweet at me. And Ari's America. So A-R-Y-N-U-N-E-Z or Ari's America. And uh well, That's, thank you. No, sorry to interrupt yeah. you. I'm sorry. We just have to go. But thank yeah. you so much thank for this amazing speaking to you. We would love to have you on again, actually. Oh, if yeah. You're open to that. Oh, yeah. I'm open to that. We, okay, have, awesome. we definitely oh, got to yeah. bring you back. Yeah, we got to bring you back. Please. You know, I want to remind everybody to go to our Facebook page. You're going to get more information about Ari on there. I want to thank you for stopping by. We got to thank our producer, Tylan Washington, our engineer, Ayanna Jones, our online engineer, Muhammad El Safdi, production assistants, Tatiana and Tiana Washington. Nina, who's coming up next? The Glen Z Show with special guest Jeff Smith. Mm -hmm. And then we have NRG at 6 p.m. And we have the Sexy Party Show. And I believe it's a rebroadcast at 7 p.m. It is, yes. All right. Thank you, everyone. Mm -hmm. Happy Saturday. Happy Peace. Saturday. Peace out. Have a great Labor Stay Day. Stay healthy. <laughs> thank you. And I'm hungry. Is you looking for good eating? Then stay beating the path to the network with the best food rapper. Hook you up fast. They keep it crispy with the 411. They eating you right. Chopping it up, dishing it out. It's tasting good, but don't bite. The recipes are sublime and info fresh off the vine. They keep you GMO free. Cause be you all what you eat. Now if you too busy chewing on the FAT fat wag, tune into the F to the O to the O to D food rap. Listen to the kitchen on the show with the utmost. With me and me and Shauna G, your fly MC chef host.
rap, food rap. It's time to eat better. I know you feel the pressure. Can I get a yes, yes, sir? A yes, yes, sir. A for the hot show on the block. From the street to the hood. Keep it locked. Don't forget to talk. Never tasted so good. Oh, yeah, delicious. Pizzas, hamburgers, and french fries. Oh, yeah. All the fast food I can eat. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no. I'm hungry. Hey, my stomach growling. This food rap. Food rap. Go pro radio network. Need a Marshall on the level. That's it. Thank you for using.